Thank you for joining us at XM.com. This is a Forex preview video. I'm Cristina Marujos. With me today is investment analyst Cristina Partenido, and we'll be having a look at the Bank of England, which meets on Thursday amid expectations, Cristina, of a rate hike. One would expect Bank of England policymakers to be rather hawkish as the UK economy is rather strong. However, we still have war risks lingering. Therefore, what do you think we'll see happening at this meeting? Hi, Christina. Indeed, uh, being too hawkish is not the right thing to do at the moment, even if your economy is doing fairly well. I mean, the Ukrainian war has added more uncertainty to the global economic outlook. And although the UK is relatively less exposed to Russian energy markets, uh, basically the UK is a significant producer of both crude oil and petroleum products and has a diverse range of suppliers beyond Russia, including Norway, the Netherlands, Saudi Arabia and the US. But on the other hand, its financial system is more sensitive to Russian money. So the sanctions against Russian oligarchs could still affect the economy and therefore a growth slowdown cannot be excluded in the coming quarters if the sanction war, of course, continues for longer. Uh, apparently, inflation is something that cannot be ignored either. Uh, the Ukrainian war is uh, largely expected to add to the pandemic supply constraints and bring uh, further price increases, not only in the energy sector, but also in other industries as well, including the food industry. Particularly, inflation is expected to rise to 8% year on year in April from 7.5% expected previously. So the faster solution to cool inflation is to raise interest rates at the moment. And that is what the central bank is largely expected to do this week by raising interest rates for the third time to 0.75%. Now, what is still unknown is how the rate hike path will continue from now on. Futures markets are currently pricing in 166 basis points of monetary tightening from the Bank of England uh, this year. Uh, that is equivalent to at least six 25 basis points rate increases. And we have only six meetings left until the end of this year. So that suggests two scenarios. Either the central bank will deliver a sharper increase at some point this year, or it could act less aggressively than analysts believe. Now, which of those scenarios is more likely to materialize? Uh, well, perhaps we need more data releases to become more confident on that. But for now, whether the central bank will provide more emphasis on inflation than economic growth, or in other words, if it's uh, willing to sacrifice some growth to balance inflation, that may be an indication that the central bank is not ruling out a more aggressive policy rate action in the year ahead. Perhaps a dovish tone wouldn't be in preference either since that would make the pound even weaker and therefore make inflation worse. But let's see uh, what the central bank's priority is this week. Turning to the pound now, it has been one of those currencies that took a hard hit from the geopolitical crisis. Can Bank of England policymakers offer it any support this week? That's right, Christina. The pound has lost around 3% over the past two weeks against the US dollar, currently trading around 1.30. Well, unless the dust settles in Ukraine and the sanction war starts to ease, the pound dollar could keep facing headwinds. Nevertheless, the central bank could still provide some support to the pound this week. Uh, the rate announcement is already fully priced in, so what traders will be looking instead is whether inflation remains a top priority and if more policymakers voted or were willing to vote for a sharper rate increase so that could help the pound to recover some lost ground this week. Perhaps a break above 1.31 could confirm additional gains in the coming sessions and then the 1.32 mark could be the next target. So for an outlook improvement, the market will need to stage an impressive rally above 1.3650 and currently that is a long way up. Now, if the central bank tolls down a rate hike expectations, signaling that it may deliver a smaller number of rate hikes than analysts believe, then the pound could extend its sell-off breaking below one. 30 to test the next support uh, seen around 1.2850. Christina, thank you for joining me today. And thank you for watching this Forex preview on the Bank of England coming up on Thursday here at XM.com.